for the day. So this week and next week we're doing north-south, which like I was saying at the start of class, some people just consider it like another type of side control. I kind of see it as a different position entirely, but usually you get there from side control, okay? So we will uh, we'll enter, we'll enter the position from side control today just so you guys get the feel for that. And then we're gonna do a paper cutter choke for the uh, submission we're gonna learn from here. So if we're in side control here, this is your normal cross face style side control, all right? To get the north south, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arm that's across the face, this one here, bring it over, scoop the shoulder. This hand that was blocking the hip on this side comes to block the hip on this side. This is so he can't, I'm putting it on the ground and I'm posting it next to his hip, so he can't circle and follow me. If I try to go to north south without blocking that hip, he's just gonna follow me, right? He knows what's coming, so I gotta block this here and then I'm gonna come around to here, okay? So we get to this position, all right? A lot of people play north-south like this. I don't really like it because he doesn't really feel, the, feel any pressure, right? I like to have my hips out, so he's got, I got my weight on him, right? And then you use your ribs and your hip to kind of turn his head that away. So that way he can't bridge into you, right? So he really only has one way to go, which is this way. He can only turn really the way his head's facing. So what that kind of sets up is, is, the, is the paper cutter or the bread cutter choke, depending on what you call it. So since he can only turn this way, he's gonna kind of bridge and roll that way, all right? Ah, see he brings this arm up. Okay, so this one was, this elbow was in his armpit, but now he's bridging and rolling that way. It's gonna come back and find the back of his collar. I'm gonna grip there, okay? Now we put that back down on the mat, and as we put it back on the mat, we circle out to the side, and we kind of bring our elbow across his face and find his collar, thumb in grip, okay? Then we put our elbow to the mat, all right? You'll get some pain, <coughs> sorry. You'll get some pain and, and, and some pressure there and, and possibly choke somebody. But if it doesn't work and you get your elbow all the way to the mat and he's not choking, next thing you're gonna do is you take your elbow and you're gonna draw a circle with your elbow. And that's gonna, you'll see, twist his head and tighten the choke. Okay, so that's how we finish there. Okay, so let's, we'll do again. The other one is up under his shoulder, gripping his neck. We'll do, we'll do again. So, <laughs> this way you do it. <laughs> no, everybody. No, everybody, yeah. Yeah, I don't use this choke a lot. I do a lot. Yeah, you do. But I always try to get there from side control. I think if I go to north-south first, yeah. I think it'll be. That's right, because you have to get the arm out. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem I have. Is whenever I try to get that arm out, they, yeah, they, right. they, they... go north-south and I get Yeah, okay. So same thing, we're here. Okay, we're in our standard side control position. We take the arm that's cross-facing. We bring it over, we scoop the arm. We take the arm that's blocking the hip on this side. We block the hip on this side, and we circle, okay? We're gonna sprawl down. Use your, your chest or your hips to turn his head that way. He's probably gonna bridge and roll that way to try to get out. We come down, we find the back of his collar. See the grip I'm doing here, Diego? Yeah, over the arm, over the shoulder, forefinger in, back of the collar, okay? And now we circle back the other way. We use our elbow to turn his head, open up that neck, grab that thumb in grip, and you could probably get a choke just dropping your shoulder, dropping your elbow to the mat. Sometimes though, you gotta drop the elbow and then raise your elbow. So. I saw someone describe it as dropping your elbow to the mat and pretending there's a crown in your elbow and you're trying to draw a circle, okay? And that kinks their neck and pulls the choke tight. You wanna see it? You're good on this, yeah, you're good, okay. Yeah, Keith's all about this one. So we're here, okay? So to get into the position, we're gonna take the cross face arm, scoop it over the head, control the shoulder, block the hip. Circle around, push the head away. He rolls into me. I grab the back of his collar. I come back to side control as I drag my elbow across, get that thumb in grip, and then we bring it down to the mat. If he doesn't tap, we jack up our elbow until he taps. Like that. Okay. Are we all good? We ready to run it? Okay. Swap and run it. One, two, three. You know the defense of this move? Not a 